Mike Mulder, Friday Man event here with Chad Watson, new head coach at Gallatin. Coach, uh, first spring practice with these guys. How's uh, how's practice went so far? I think for the most part, I think we're about seven days in, and six of the seven days have been really good. I think our guys uh, competed with each other, and we're trying to have a physical brand of football at Gallatin, and we've been bringing that in practice day in and day out. And I think they've responded pretty well, honestly. Coach, what uh, big differences have you noted uh, coming from Clarkson Northeast over here to Gallatin? I know probably a lot more history here at Gallatin. Um, the tradition, obviously, um, uh, there's a lot of pride in this community uh, outside of the school building. Like you go anywhere in Gallatin, they're always asking about the Green Wave. So the tradition, uh, the amount of support, the facilities that we have, I feel like we got the best facilities of anybody around it. Gallatin's a special place, and I'm really, really thankful to be there. Some of the main guys coming back from last year, Briggs, Mason, uh, Yarborough, Bruce, Raider. How have these kids looked in practice? Uh, you expected to see them as the team leaders this year? Yeah, I mean, one guy that's really matured, I felt like since I've been here, Spencer Briggs. He's not the most vocal guy, but he's, he's starting to become more vocal in his play and the way he runs football. I think a lot of guys look to him, and we've had a lot of older guys step up on the offensive line especially, so... We got a good group of kids. Uh, James Mason's come in. He's kind of our defensive leader. Uh, one kid you didn't mention is Trusted Kemp. He's he's kind of a defensive leader for us too. And uh, we swapped positions from him. He was an inside linebacker last year. We moved him to D line. Hadn't complained and done great with it. Any surprises? There's always a you know a couple of kids. I'm sure you know you, this being your first year, you didn't really know what to expect. But from the other coaches, the, the ones that were here yeah. last year, any of them shocked by any of the players you've seen so far? Uh, AJ Branham uh, has really really stepped up and become more physical. Uh, overall, uh, Montez Banks, the quarterback's grown as well. So. Yeah, we're, we're really happy with where we're at and got a good test today against Blackman kind of see and see where we're at and where we're going to get better. And uh, looking at this region, Coach, you, you guys have kind of dominated Region 5 in the playoffs the last few years. Uh, Beach is a team a lot of people are looking at this year expecting them to be really well. Yeah. What uh, teams in the region do you think is going to be a, a big obstacle for you guys? Um, we're going to take them one game at a time, but obviously Beach, I wouldn't be surprised if they ain't top two, top three in the state in mm -hmm. 5A with what they did. Uh, making the final four last year. Hillsboro obviously is always really, really good. And Hillwood scored a lot of points. And anybody in that region is going to be a good competition, but we're, we're really focused on Levin and, and uh, what Chuck Gentry has done. And we know that's going to be a huge game we've won, so we're trying to get ready for that one. And, uh, you know, heading into this season, uh, Gallatin down a little bit last year, uh, really haven't, haven't been where the fan base would like them to be. What's a realistic expectation, you think, for this Green Wave team this um, year? Just go out there and compete our butts off and see where it goes from there. All right, Coach. Well, I appreciate it. Good uh, luck to you this season. You.